those are the times where reminding yourself of who you are and what's important to you and the people that are around you, getting support from the people that are around you and who care about you, no matter what you're doing, what your job is. Welcome to the Licensed to Live show, where professionals, doctors, champions, VIPs, attorneys, and those in public office discover strategies that help you restart and gain what is lost when you find yourself accused. If another has doubted your integrity, questioned your credentials, or caused your actions to come under scrutiny, you are in the right place. On the other hand, if you have never felt the knot in the pit of your stomach when legal papers are served, the heartbreak of disappointing your family when the lock clicks shut on handcuffs, or had to appear before a board of review, then be aware, the longer you serve, the more likely you are to find yourself under the microscope of those who judge. Prepare yourself for this uncomfortable possibility. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jarrett Patton. Welcome to this episode of Licensed to Live. My name is Dr. Jared, and I am your host for our journey together today and every day you choose to listen to this show. If you or anyone you know has been dissed by healthcare, please invite them to join us along this journey. Just go to Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you get podcasts and subscribe to the Licensed to Live show. We are in the midst of Napod Pomo. And I have yet another very special edition of License to Live. Today, we have yet another conversation with Dr. Diane Ansari Wynn, an anesthesiologist, an author, and an executive coach for physicians. Back in episode six, we had a great discussion talking about her exit from clinical medicine and her wonderful journey since then. Make sure you check out that episode as well, as it is filled with great advice. This conversation is about conversation, communication, confidence, and where to draw your strength in times of need. Before we get started, I would like to let you know about a special opportunity coming up. I have gotten so much feedback on the podcast that I'm offering a masterclass coming very soon. So many people feel trapped in their current careers and are afraid to break out and live their true destiny. This live masterclass will give you five additional strategies to get your career refreshed and restarted despite your limitations, past failures, and unforeseen circumstances. Take your life back now and register for this masterclass at restartwebinar.com. That's restartwebinar.com. Dr. Diane, your podcast, The Doctor's Life Podcast, is set up to feel like a conversation in the doctor's lounge. When I listen to your show, I have very fond memories, and it almost feels like it did when I was the medical staff president sitting in the lounge, listening to stories, complaints, catching up with people, or just getting information. Why did you set up your show to be like the doctor's lounge? Some of my favorite times were actually in the doctor's lounge. Um, for example, like on call days, if we were there, you know, doing 24-hour shift or, um, you know, or waiting with the surgeon start waiting for our room to open up. That's when those really rich conversations would occur. And not only just medical conversations, we can have a whole nother discussion about the breakdown of communication among uh, physicians and why I think peer coaching is so vital to the revitalization of our profession from a humanistic perspective. But my point is that we are having those conversations, not only about medical things, but just about what's going on. Conversations are lost in our era of digital communication. Many problems can be solved through good old human interaction. Now, you had a pretty lengthy career in one hospital system. I imagine you saw a lot of change in your work relationships over that time. I would had a 15-year career in one hospital and some surgery centers and stuff, but primarily in one hospital. So literally over those 15 years, you know, I, 
my colleagues had kids and those kids became teenagers or they had young kids and they went on to college and they got married. You know, we saw people get uh, married, people get divorced, different partnerships breaking up. I mean, medical partnerships (laughs) (laughs) made and breaking up, um, talking about the finances of medicine changes in medicine, like you said, you know, that's the way to have um, your finger on the pulse of what is really happening, not just what you read in the New York Times or Wall Street Journal or what you see on TV, the external commentary about medicine, but actually what is really happening from from our perspective and um, as, as physicians. And so I know that you've had that with your clients when, you know, that's when the, the real, you know, nitty gritty magic starts to happen is when like you can kind of let those, that exterior side and really start getting real with what is really going on. That That's right. You have to keep it real because uh, people will relate very well to, to things that are meaningful to them. And as we were talking about confidence a little bit earlier, uh, I spent a good part of License to Live. Chapter five was dedicated to recovering your confidence because the second you have to go down a credentialing form, for instance, and have to check yes to one of those questions, you find yourself having to write a book and having to explain things and, and having to explain things again and again and again. And it, and it, is another attempt in this highly competitive world that we live in as physicians to break down and take little chinks out of that confidence. A lot of times people have to check yes on these forms, whether it was, yes, I had this uh, traffic ticket or yes, I had a malpractice claim or yes, uh, I had uh, some sort of criminal charge or yes, my license was temporarily suspended these things, although a lot of times there was really no wrongdoing, but people have to explain themselves time and time again. And uh, when the confidence gets shattered, it's another thing that erodes at people's overall peace and it, and it drains their batteries and it brings them down uh, to a point where we're making their job, uh, which is already difficult, even more difficult. Not only is confidence recovery a major topic in my book, License to Live, a primer to rebuilding your life after your career is shattered, it is also a topic in the Career Restart Masterclass. In this upcoming webinar, we discuss ways in which you can regain the confidence that you once had, plus you will learn five additional strategies to restart your career. Be sure to register now at restartwebinar.com. Yeah, I think, and you probably have some ideas about this, you know, that you work on with your clients. But, you know, I think in terms of confidence, you know, from my own experience, I did lose my sense of confidence because I kind of lost my sense of self. But when you have an experience like that, um, where you lose your confidence, it really does bring you down to your core. And interestingly, our core is not wrapped up in who we, I'm sorry, what we do. It's who we are. And so it's exactly what we were talking about before, that those are the times where reminding yourself of who you are and what's important to you and the people that are around you, getting support from the people that are around you and who care about you, no matter what you're doing, what your job is. Licensed to live. For example, you know, I know that you have lovely kids and those kids don't care. Like if they're not, they're not like Dr. Dad is home. You know, it's like dad's home. You know, the question I think becomes like, where do you draw strength from? And, you know, that's what I talk to about um, with doctors about recovering from burnout. It's kind of like, how do you get your energy back or how do you Uh, draw your strength. And there's um, five steps that I outline um, with docs about how to regain your strength. But one of those things is really like reconnecting with your purpose and who you are. That's exactly what we're talking about right here. You are absolutely right. I gained my strength 
from my wife, my kids, my family, when it was easy for people to turn their back on me. When I had my medical license suspended, my board certification was under scrutiny, and I had hearing after hearing in the criminal justice system, I had some tough times. Some of the best things that helped me get through were the family and friends that I held the closest. They helped me gain tremendous strength to continue the battle to reclaim what was taken from me. I really appreciate your time, Dr. Diane, as I know you have to get going, but you have gifted my audience more words of wisdom. Where can people learn more out about you? Pretty much everywhere on social media these days. Um, I have a Facebook live show, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And you can find me on all of those platforms at, at the at sign, Dr. Diane MD. Uh, you can also find my website. Uh, that's www.com drdiane.com. That's www.drdiane.com. Um, and you can also uh, listen to the Doctor's Life podcast um, through that website, uh, www.drdiane.com. Thanks again. And be sure to check out her physician vitality assessment on her website, particularly if you feel that you're suffering from burnout. Remember, Firestarters, if you or anyone you know has been dissed, disengaged, dissatisfied, disgruntled, disenfranchised with healthcare, please invite them to join us along this journey. Simply go to your favorite podcast distributor and subscribe to Licensed to Live. And don't forget to sign up for the free Career Restart Masterclass at RestartWebinar.com. See you next time. No matter how disheartening the moment of accusation sounds, how deep the pain of immobilization stabs, or how bleak your future looks, no one can take away your license to live. Keep Dr. Jarrett's expertise handy and unlock your future. Go to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or another podcast player and subscribe right now to Licensed to Live. See you next time.